Jesus, that's some action. I like that suit. Hmm. Oh crap, hey. Sorry. I was taking a break and uh, just reading one of my favorite comics. Uh, let me find a spot to put this. What can I do for you today? Oh, you're the appointment. Okay, shoot. Let me see. Sorry. I'm like... <laughs> I'm in comic book reading mode. Let me see. Uh, let me check my appointments. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me go ahead and just flip. Oh, okay. I see here. The appointment at 12. Gotcha. Okay. Um, let's go to... Aha. Okay, let's see. I'd use my mouth to uh, open this pen, but as you can see, it's covered, so... Alright, so, let me go ahead and just get your name again real quick. I know your name, I'm just trying to verify. Okay, thanks. And last name? Okay. Alright, so it looks like you're here for a general cleaning, but you had specified um, some concerns about some pain in your back teeth. Okay. Yeah, we can take a look at that. Let me just put down the date. Okay. So, let me go ahead and just get this checklist out of the way. We're gonna do that first, and then this. Um, okay. All right, cool. So, go ahead and put this away for now. Go ahead and just uh, lay back in the chair for me, okay? Just get yourself nice and comfortable. Perfect. I have to wear this gown now. It's part of our protective measures for the dental practice, so forgive me if I'm like trying to get used to it. It's just a little heavy, but I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of red like Spider-Man, so you can see. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a couple things situated here. Um, you don't have a latex allergy, right? No, what I'm, what, now, no, not that you eat latex. No, I mean like that you break out in like a rash or you have like an allergic reaction to latex. No, okay, that's good, okay. Because we, uh, we try to use only latex products in this dental office, so. Um, let me go ahead and just grab a couple of gloves. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start a general uh, external oral exam for you, okay? What that essentially means is I'm just gonna be feeling around the outside of your mouth uh, and just kind of in your the neck tissue in the top of your head here uh, to check for soreness and swelling. Ooh, these are really tight. Uh, well, that means I can feel things a bit better, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they smell pretty good too. And they sound good. Smell, sound, all the above. All right, go ahead and just stay kind of still for me. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna feel around the base of your neck, just uh, for the lymph nodes under here. They can get kind of swollen. And sometimes if there's that feeling of um, discomfort or there's some swelling, that can lead to um, me being able to figure out if there's some other issues going on inside your mouth because the tissue under here will start to swell. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure these gloves are nice and tight because I gotta make sure that I'm feeling everything properly. Okay, I'm gonna warm them up a little bit. There we go, because my hands can get a bit cold. So just go ahead and warm these up. All right, I want you to just lay still for me. If you feel any kind of discomfort, just let me know. Um, I'm just gonna be doing this quick uh, external oral exam on you, okay? Okay, you now you don't have to look up, just stay still. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna feel under 
here. Any kind of tenderness there, right there? No? Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go a little bit up here. Hmm. I see a little bit of swelling, but I think if I feel that, okay. Tilt your head back just a little bit for me. Perfect. little bit of discomfort there okay yeah that's normal just kind of there under your tongue on the tissue there okay I'm gonna go to the sides of your head now just kind of feeling um, around the side of your head here any discomfort there any kind of tenderness no okay okay that's good Now what I want you to do is I'm just going to have you slowly open your mouth. Just, you know, I would show you, but I'm wearing a mask for my own protection. Um, but I want you to just open your mouth slowly for me. And I'm going to feel the joints on the side of your jaw and see if there's any kind of popping or clicking. And of course, if you experience any kind of discomfort, just tell me, okay? So just follow my lead. Go ahead and just hold here and open slowly. And close. Okay, I'm just gonna massage that area a little bit. Okay, let's do it again, okay? Open very slowly. And close. Okay, good. Massage that area again, just make sure it's all nice and loosened up. Any kind of tenderness? No? Okay, good. All right, let's do this one more time. All right, open slowly for me. Hmm. Close again. And open. I feel a little bit of popping here, but... Did you feel it too? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's normal for some people to get popping, but what we really don't want is lock jaw, where your jaw actually gets stuck open. That's not fun. I had some clients come in here uh, or go to the hospital. Let's do it one more time. I'm just gonna feel this one side where I was feeling it more. Okay, and open. Did your jaw wiggle from side to side like that? Oh, okay, good. And close for me. Good, okay. Well, everything looks to be good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple notes in your patient file real quick. Let's see. Back to page 18. Let's see if I can find you. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I actually opened up right to it. <laughs> All right, so. So I think it's safe to say that we can actually move on to a little bit of the dental exam now just to check your teeth. Um, and I will go ahead and also do um, just a visual inspection as well just to make sure that you don't have any uh, potential cavities and stuff. But we won't know until we look, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. <clears throat> It's also, it's also, <clears throat> excuse me, it's also been standard procedure for us now to use surgical gloves for the dental exam, um, just to kind of keep that sterile field. And um, I also just like how they feel more, you know, the cooler. So we're all about trying to be cool here at the dental office. And a lot of our patients have a good experience. All right, just gonna go ahead and open these. They're size six. I can get my hands into these ones. I'm normally a six and a half or a seven, but I guess I'll just have to go with these for today. All right, 
as you can see, these are kind of a weird opaque color. They're kind of like semi-translucent, but they're fun. Um, Go ahead and put these bad boys on if they'll go on. As you can see, I've got the cuff down on my fingers, like so. I can just put my hand in over the cuff of the gown, like this. Oh, that looks great. I'm going to go in for glove two, which is actually a little slippery. Alright. As you can see, they're a little sticky, which is weird. I promise I didn't use them before. Alright, second hand is going in. Actually, them quite well. Right, I'm just gonna make sure that it's comfortable. Oh, these are really tight. Okay. See that? It's called webbing, where the glove doesn't quite want to sit on my hands because they're a little smaller than normal but we'll make it work. Right. Don't need this anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get out some of the dental tools. We just got a couple new tools in, but take a look at these. I think these look great. <laughs> of course I would say that, <laughs> I'm a dentist, but um, so yeah, we've got like the mirror here that we'll be using on you, uh, just to do a check, and uh, well, a bunch of other fun toys. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, go ahead and open for me. Okay, I think I'm going to use these. Perfect. Let's go ahead and sink this aside. It even has a little rubber tip on it, isn't that nice? Doink. Alright. Go ahead and just adjust you a little bit. Make sure you're comfy. Alright. Now, I will say, if I get to the point where I can't let, uh, where you get kind of tired or your mouth is not staying open, I'll put this in your mouth to just kind of keep your cheeks retracted, okay? But we'll get to that in a bit. Right now, I just want to make sure that I can see inside your mouth. All right, go ahead and open nice and wide for me. Good. Okay. Just going to check in there. So far, so good. Do you brush twice a day? Good, that's good to hear. Very good, okay. Open wide again for me. Hmm. Okay. I see a little bit of plaque buildup on the back, but that's normal. Um, especially if you say you brush twice a day, then I'm not um, overly concerned. But we're still gonna have a look. Let me just fix this glove real quick. There we go. All right. Open again nice and wide. I'm gonna take the dental tool here and my scaling tool. I'm just gonna poke around looking for soft deposits on your teeth. And you do drink coffee, right? Okay, that'll explain a little bit of the staining, but we can kind of get rid of some of that. I would just be careful with how much coffee you drink. I know you need it for energy, but it really stains your teeth pretty easily. Open nice and wide. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and just check this. Pinky's out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. A little bit of softness there. I think that's just a little bit of plaque. 
which can be taken off kind of easily. Okay, check the back. Interesting, okay. I can tell that you've had braces before because there's a little bit of glue deposit on your molars. But it looks like they filed off the ones on the front of your incisors. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in your mouth, actually, just to keep your cheeks from getting fatigued, okay? This is just gonna help keep your mouth open for me. Um, and it's pretty, you know, they're, they're stretchy and flexible, so they're not uncomfortable. But if it needs adjustment at any point, just let me know, okay? Let's open nice and wide. There you go, okay. Now I can actually see so much better. Yeah, okay. There's a little bit of plaque buildup, but it's not too bad. You know, just need to work on those little spots there. It looks like you've had one cavity. I can see that filling back there. I'm gonna go ahead and just poke that real quick. Thank God it's not amalgam though. Any discomfort there? No, good, okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my dental loops on just so I can see better. Um, this will help me look into the very back of your mouth, like so. I've got these cool binoculars, if you will. They're like nice, fun lenses. So, and they look pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I like this look. I love my job. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just have a look into your mouth. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Fogging up my mirror a little bit there. Interesting. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous. I promise I'm not going to bite. <laughs> Just don't bite me, okay? Right, let's go ahead and take this tunnel tool. I'm just going to get some of this plaque off your teeth, okay? I just have to worry. bleeding. Do you floss every day? Okay, good. Just make sure when you're flossing that you get both sides of the teeth. So when you take the dental floss, you pull it one way, and then when you go the other way, it gets the other side of the tooth as well. That will help make sure that you get all of the tartar off your teeth. Because that's where the inflammation starts to come in, and that's not fun. going to use this tool. Looks a little scary, but this is to just um, essentially uh, get some of the uh, extra spit off your tongue. I just want to make sure that uh, we have a clean surface to work with and the health of your tongue is just as important as the health of your teeth. Um, you can actually predict certain um, conditions, if you will, by the look of your tongue. So essentially if you have um, extra uh, excess bacteria in your mouth, your tongue will be a little bit, little bit whiter um, or brown or something. But also, uh, I would just highly recommend that you brush your tongue just like you brush your teeth in the mornings, okay? So just open wide. That's right, you're already opening wide for me. Good. I'm just going to take this and put it on your tongue and pull back. Get that lip out of the way a little more. A little deeper this time, okay? Pulling back. Nice, okay. One more time. I know, it's kind of weird your gag reflex wants to kick in, but don't do it. We're gonna train that gag reflex. <laughs> okay, one more time. And pulling back. Nicely done, okay. I'm actually gonna send this off to the lab just to have some tests done. 
All right, let me put these up for a second. Let me look. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting really close, actually. I think you're doing very well. All right, open wide. I'm gonna check the back of your molars again with my mirror. Okay, good. Not bad. Hmm. Looking pretty good. I do see some more um, deposits though. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those. All right, I'm actually gonna look down a bit further. I don't see tons of inflammation in your teeth at this time, which is great. Your gums look pretty healthy. I would just say that you need to make sure to, to continue flossing, okay? Um, because flossing helps to get rid of all the plaque that's getting stuck in between your teeth from when you eat. And uh, make sure that you're brushing at least twice a day. I'm going to go ahead and just use this. I'm going to wiggle some of your teeth, okay, with my tweezers. I could technically do it with my fingers, but that then just starts to get mushy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just feel this tooth seems okay. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Just gonna go around. Hmm. All pretty healthy. And the crowding on your teeth was vastly improved since they were last year. Those braces did a good job. All right. So at this point, um, I'm just gonna have to recommend that you come in for a follow-up appointment. Um, it looks like the potential issue with your teeth is just kind of a false alarm. Um, just make sure to continue brushing every day, twice a day at least. Um, and make sure to use a soft bristle toothbrush so that you're not irritating your gums, okay? That's really important because if you're brushing and you're agitating your gums, they'll actually start to recede and they'll get puffy. Um, and when your gums start to recede, it exposes more of the enamel of your teeth. Um, and then if you're not flossing, that can cause some issues. So just make sure to gently floss your teeth uh, at, at least once a day before you go to bed is the best time that I would recommend it. Uh, make sure to brush your teeth twice a day and your tongue. Do not forget your tongue. Brushing your tongue is very healthy and it keeps away some bad breath and stuff that can happen as well, okay? Do you have any other questions for me? You want to suck on my fingers? Well, I've never gotten that request before, but okay. Let me uh, see what I can do. Let me remove the gag. I know you were kind of mumbling at me, but all right, well, I guess I'll make sure these are nice and tight for you. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Go ahead and suck on my fingers. Oh, God. Do I even get paid enough for this? Am I going to get fired? Maybe. And the other side. Yeah, you suck pretty well, too. Nice. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I'm not getting fired today. Take care of your teeth and I'll see you next time, okay? Ciao.